Today, we are going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound zinc nitrate. So let's work from left to right. The first thing that I see is zinc. I'm going to scan the periodic table to see where zinc is, and I find it. It's right in this like little corner right here, right? Zinc is Zn. Maybe I'll write that a little bit better. There you go, Zn. So that's what I'm going to start with. I know that I have Zn, but the thing is, what charge am I going to use, right? Zinc is a transition metal, right? And transition metals mostly, uh, you know, they have multiple charges. So that's why there usually is a Roman numeral here to tell me what the charge of zinc will be, but I don't see a Roman numeral, right? So what's the catch? Star this one, guys, all right? Zinc, even though it's in the transition metals, it always has only one charge, and that is a plus two. So whenever you're naming something with zinc or writing a formula with zinc, zinc is going to have a plus two charge. Now let's move on. I see that I have nitrate. There's an ATE ending, and all ATE endings means that they're, it's a polyatomic ion. Polyatomic ions are never going to be on the periodic table. So I gave it to you guys. So just memorize it, you know, do whatever you got to do, flashcards, write it down to just memorize that nitrate is always NO3 with the negative one charge. And now I am ready to do a little trick with crisscrossing. I take these charges, crisscross them down to just see how many of each component I need. This plus two crisscrosses down telling me that I need two nitrates. And then this negative one crisscrosses down telling me that I need one zinc. Now I'm ready to write my formula. Just know that when you do this trick, don't worry about the charges anymore. You're just looking at these subscripts because that's what we're going to be writing. So now let's go. I have zinc, Zn. I only need one of them, so I don't have to write this one here. But now I have multiple polyatomics. In this case, I have two nitrates. When you have more than one polyatomic, you need parentheses. So I'm going to put parentheses, write the whole polyatomic, which is NO3, that's nitrate, close the parentheses, and then I say I need two of them. And now I am finished. So zinc nitrate is ZnNO3 2. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. That will help us out tremendously. And I thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. Let's keep rocking and rolling. Good luck on all your future tests and quizzes. And I will see you in future lessons. Bye-bye.